Here are the tests on my unknown 2000 crane toilet. I have it set to the water line in here. It looks like they didn't quite stamp it right, but I see where they were supposed to put it. So that's just where I have it. And I put it on a faster filling valve. And since I have no idea what the original parts were like, I just left the corky in there that was there when I got it. And I also put a generic white handle. So let's give it a flush and do some tests. Very unique for sure. I don't know how it will perform, but the trapway looks like it's a decent size. So, honestly I have no clue what to expect. But it does have some minerals that I was unable to remove. So, I'll work on that, but it's not going to perform quite as well as it would without them. But I'm going to add some water to the bowl, and then I'll try a washcloth. This toilet is very siphonic, so I have to add the water really slowly or else it'll just siphon out again and that defeats the whole purpose. So, let's test it with a washcloth. I think it's gonna take this. It would be sad if it doesn't. Did great. Let's add some water to the bowl and then try a grocery bag. I keep losing my grocery bags. They probably are blowing away in the wind, but I keep having to get new ones. And since I, I don't know how this will do since this is a fresh grocery bag and it isn't fully waterlogged yet, but I imagine it'll just float along the surface and get sucked down at the very end but I doubt it will pass. So, let's see. That did a lot better than I expected. And like usual, when it takes both of them separately, I do them together. So, Let's see if it can take the washcloth and the bag together. So, when the tank is finished filling, which well, shouldn't be too long, let's see if it can take the washcloth and the bag. And it looks like I won't have to pause the video because it's just about to the water line. So, let's see how it does. It hesitated for a moment, but it got it through. I'm going to add some water to the bowl and then do a dish towel. It'll probably pass this too unless it tries to suck it down too quickly. But I honestly have my hopes up for this toilet. It seems to have proven itself to be pretty good. It doesn't even look like it was originally a crane model like they stole it from Artesian or something. But the tank is almost full, so let's see if it'll take a dish towel. That did awesome. So now that it passed all the performance tests, Let's try a dirt test. I'm going to add some water to the bowl. And considering this flush pretty much covers every last, every last square inch or whatever the smallest possible measurement is. I know an inch isn't the smallest, but whatever the smallest measurement is, that's how much it covers of the bowl because of that super violent flush. So let's just stick that right under there and I'll spread the dirt around.
And remember that piece of plastic I showed in the original video? It's like right up there. I think it's going to leave some dirt right around there, but get the rest of the sides pretty well. So let's see how it does. Funny, it almost looks like I sped up the video, but like I expected, if it'll focus, it did perfectly around the edge. There is a little, a little bit of wax residue in the bowl, so some of the dirt got stuck to it, and then it left some sand and some floaters. So, honestly, that did really well, considering how some toilets do on the dirt test, but I have definitely seen better. So. That about concludes it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. I will also be testing this on a high tank, because that honestly sounds like it would be pretty cool, so stay tuned for that.